Hello everyone, it is Silencer67, and just look at this video right now, just look at this video quality. I can't believe I finally got my video quality fixed. I can finally make videos in this incredible HD that my hop hog here sitting next to me can, that, that it can do. I mean, I'm finally recording at high definition. I, I've been trying to figure out the problem for months, and stupid me finally figured out with all my stupidity that has finally figured it out. Um, the thing is... I can't record the HD while I'm playing because my TV doesn't have the component that it needs. It's not actually a high definition TV. So I'm going to try to get a new TV hopefully before Gears 3 and Battlefield 3 come out because I don't think either of them are going to have a theater mode. So it'll be nice to um, have something that I can record live. Right now I can only do it in theater mode because I have the wires go straight to my hot pog and nothing to my TV. But Oh, I love this quality. It is a billion times better than my other crappy, 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 crappy quality. Oh, I love this. Also, I would like to thank Chief Landless for putting out a rendering video where he showed me his rendering settings. Mine were similar. Ass. Similar. Similar, but he did show me a couple places where I could improve it, and I did improve them in that places, so I'd like to thank him for that. This game is um, kind of a pre-made uh, sticks and stones, I guess you could say. There's four of us who are already in a party, although we just joined like the lobby for like the 10 credit thing or whatever. Um, I'm here with White Boy Dixon. Uh, we all, well, a couple of us, four of us, played the other day, and we were doing sticks and stones, and we decided you needed seven tomahawk kills, tomahawk kills, before you could actually start using your ballistic knife or anything to actually get points. So I did get one kill because it was one guy who wasn't actually part of us he was trying to shoot me with the crossbow so I'm like you know what I'm gonna kill you so I did kill him and then I got set back anyway so it didn't really matter but this is the most clutch game I have ever seen in sticks and stones you might say it literally comes down to the last second it literally comes down to the last point three of a second the like final ah point thirty milliseconds I mean it's insane like just watch the end of this and see how close and how clutch this game is i am just so oh when this game was over i was freaking out at how clutch it was we were all freaking out we're like i can't believe that i cannot believe that just happened um but yeah um so yeah i'd like to thank chief landless and also white boy dixon who uh was hosting this he put on twitter anyone want to come play so a couple of us went and played with him and it was pretty fun it was fun playing with him yeah i'll say it that way that that sounds perfectly normal. But right now, boom, boom, back-to-back -to -back tomahawks. At this point, I think I'm done with my tomahawks, and I can finally start to, start to shoot people, which I'm so happy about. I just cannot wait to shoot people. Um, and I know you guys have probably already seen all the breakdowns in the Modern Warfare 3 survival stuff. Like, stuff. Like, it's, uh, that, like they break down the last five seconds in the whole survival thing of it where it's just multiplayer and they look at look at this difference and that difference and that difference now one thing i didn't see people say is it shows at the bottom right it building the kill streaks up like every time you get a point like it builds up or whatever now i'm thinking maybe the point system isn't like kill streaks like you can switch your 14 kill streak and when you get 14 points you get that kill streak but then you're reset back to zero points and then you can go for your four kill streak or point streak or whatever it is and you don't actually have to go in order building them up and when you get the points they reset to zero not like kill streaks where you get a certain amount of kills and when you get four kills you get this one and then seven kills when you get that one this one would be you get four points get this one it resets you to zero then you need seven to get the next one that is something i think would be really cool that is just that sounds like a great idea to me i'm I just like to see how that comes out, and I know everyone's like, oh my god, look at the survival mode, it looks great. I admit it does look good, but I'm not going to freak out over it because it's Call of Duty and uh, it'll be just like zombies. It'll be fun, but when it comes down to it, it's all about the actual multiplayer, considering that's only going to be two players, and if it's only two players, I probably won't play it as much as zombies, because normally, I'm normally playing with more than one other person, and I mean... I'm not going to go leave them out and leave them to do their own thing. I like playing with them, so I'll probably end up just playing more multiplayer with them than actual survival. But, as you can see here, it's coming down to the end. 30 seconds left. I just got bank dropped when I was in first or second place. 
I'm able to hit him, stick him, boom, he blows up. I get here. I might have missed that one, but I'm not out of luck yet. Ballistic knife, I might miss. I go up, try to knife him. I even miss the knife. But then I finally get him with the ballistic knife. I re I, uh, I get another ballistic knife. I reload it. Boom. Ready? Boom. I get the kill. And then it's so clutch. I'm in second place. Four seconds left. I don't know what I'm going to do. i got to reload. Stick him. Right, is it going to blow up in time? Boom! 0.3 seconds left and it blows up. I cannot believe I won that. And I would just like to thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and even favorite the video if you like. I mean, you know, I never really ask for favorites because I just don't. So, thank you for watching. Peace!